Welcome to Brew Day. We're going to be talking about water chemistry. Now, I live in Baltimore, so I'm going to start my water chemistry by Googling uh, water chemistry in Baltimore for brewing. And I already picked out a site here that I'm going to click on. It's from Homebrew Talks. Now, today I'm going to be brewing a dark uh, stout beer. Uh, so I want to get a nice malty flavor with this beer. Now, we're going to learn in this episode how we can affect our water to make sure that we get the best malty flavor or alternatively a nice hoppy flavor. Now you see here I found already a uh, Ward Labs report. Ward is a laboratory that you can take a water sample and send it out and this is what it looks like. Someone was kind enough to upload this to Google. Now I'm going to get a program here called uh, Easy Water Calculator. You can just Google for it uh, and this is a Homebrew Talk forum member that uploaded this and he made a website. It's a pretty basic website, but you can just go ahead and download it. It's free. It's an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and download that and here it is. Uh, I'm going to take these figures you see here, like the different uh, calcium and magnesium that you can see on the Ward report and enter them into the Easy Calc uh, spreadsheet software that I downloaded from uh, Easy Water. Now I'm just taking these right off the report and putting them in. Uh, once I do that, uh, I'll be able to play around with the numbers to get the different salt additions that I'm going to uh, need to add. Now I'm looking for a malty taste here. Uh, I'm just guessing the mash volume and the sparge volume. I'm going to do four gallons and five gallons for a total of about nine gallons. Now this is my recipe. It has about seven pounds of base malt, a pound and a half of uh, chocolate and roasted barley malts, um, a pound of uh, biscuit 60, and uh, I'm sorry, caramel 60, and uh, about a pound of other uh, base malts in there, uh, dextrin malt actually. Uh, so I'm going to put those in, and it will calculate out uh, an approximately uh, pH range for my mash water. Uh, you see that the best range there, uh, but I'm going to go a little bit high. The reason is because this is at room temperature now when the water is hot the pH is actually going to drop a little bit so I'm going to shoot for something a little bit above uh, the outside the range that's okay so uh, I'm going to start uh, guessing here I bought at the brew store some gypsum and gypsum powder and some uh, sodium chloride powder and of course I have baking soda at home so I'm only going to input those but of course if you had other brewing salts you can input those too I'm just playing around with these numbers until I get something that will give me all green ranges down at the bottom and a pretty high chloride to sulfite ratio which is in the bottom right. Anything about two is going to give me a nice malty flavor so the higher I can get that the better malt flavor I can get. If I wanted a hoppy flavor I would try to reduce that number and make it as low as possible probably by adding a lot of gypsum. Okay I've got a good numbers here so now I'm going to make uh, the salt bath for my uh, mash. So you see here I've got a nice little kitchen scale that I use to also weigh out my hops. And I'm just going to add uh, about 4 grams uh, plus or minus of baking soda. And you can see I already actually dumped some out in another bowl, but you can see it there next to the scale. Oh, I little, went a little bit high, but there I got it down to about 3.9. Here's the sodium chloride. I'll put another about 4 grams in there. Now this is just ballpark, but try to make it pretty close to that calculator. Uh, so there I've got about four grams. Uh, there that works. 8.4, 8.3, 4 Maybe I'll take a little bit out. Uh, but I've got that all in there. And last but not least, uh, I'm going to add in some of that gypsum uh, just to bring out a little bit of that multi flavor and also to add a little bit uh, more minerals uh, to the water based on that calculator I showed you. Uh, here I'm just filling up uh, my hot liquor ton and I'm just going to sprinkle in the salts and they should dissolve once I heat this up but this is just my cold water and you see I have my measuring stick there on the side. Alright, hope that is helpful and thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.